All right, taking off the caliper, taking off this guy here and this guy down here to get your top portion off. And then the main bracket will be this guy and that guy. All right, quick tip. I had to take this bolt out, screw this right here, so I can get my uh, socket on this, because it was in the way right here. So I took it out, just so I can get that guy off. All right, now after you get the caliper off, the uh, disc should just come right off. It came right off for me. Um, and then you can get right to the, the hub. All right, get this guy in there. Pop it down there, put it down, and squeeze it out. Now I got it on there. I'm using the disc as a spacer and then to tighten up the stud. So I had to take the caliper apart because I accidentally hit the brakes and pushed the pistons out. So I gotta push those back in. But I got the bracket on with the bolts here and here. I just gotta put that in. I went got some C clamps and a really thicker metal ruler. So I got a makeshift. Caliper pusher in her, or piston pusher in her. <laughs> All right, uh, already seems to be pushing her down. Seems like it's working pretty good. So, crank it on this guy, getting it done. I'll crank it up and see if I can put it up. All right, we got it squashed down enough. We got it bolts back, are going back on here and here. Let's put your top piece on. There you go. Alrighty, then we put the tire back on. Did the torque to 100 foot pound for the lug nuts. New locking lug nuts. 